The Charter House of Parma is a novel written by Stendhal and first published in 1839. The story follows the life of a young nobleman named Fabrizio del Dongo, who is born into a powerful family during the Napoleonic era in Italy. The novel explores themes of love, war, power, and the struggle for personal freedom. Book 1, the novel begins with Fabrizio as a young boy growing up in his family's estate in the countryside. He is a restless and curious child, fascinated by tales of war and adventure. He falls in love with his aunt, Gina, who is married to his uncle, Count Mosca. Gina and Fabrizio begin a secret affair, but it is eventually discovered and she is forced to leave. Book 2, Fabrizio joins the army and fights in the Battle of Waterloo. He becomes a hero, but is wounded and captured by the enemy. He is eventually released and returns to Italy, where he becomes involved in a conspiracy to overthrow the ruling government. He is caught and sentenced to death, but his mother and uncle intervene and he is instead sent to the prison at the Charter House of Parma. Book 3, Fabrizio spends several years in prison, during which time he becomes close friends with a fellow prisoner named Ferrante Palla. They plan an escape together, but Ferrante is killed in the attempt. Fabrizio manages to escape and goes into hiding with a group of bandits in the mountains. Book 4, Fabrizio returns to his family's estate, where he is reunited with Gina. They resume their affair, but Fabrizio becomes involved in a plot to overthrow the ruling government once again. The plot is uncovered and Fabrizio is forced to flee. He eventually returns to the mountains, where he becomes the leader of the bandits. Book 5, Fabrizio's leadership of the bandits brings him into conflict with the ruling government once again. He is captured and sentenced to death. As he waits for his execution, he reflects on his life and his love for Gina. He is eventually rescued by his mother and uncle, who bribed the executioner to let him go. Book 6, Fabrizio and Gina are reunited once again, but their happiness is short-lived. Fabrizio is shot and killed by an unknown assailant while trying to defend his family's estate from an attack. The Charter House of Parma is a complex and multi-layered novel that explores the tumultuous era of the Napoleonic Wars and the struggle for personal freedom and individualism. Stendhal's characters are vividly drawn and often flawed, with their passions and desires driving them to both great heights and tragic depths. The novel is filled with dramatic scenes of war and adventure, as well as poignant moments of love and loss. Through the character of Fabrizio, Stendhal examines the conflict between personal freedom and the constraints of society, and the ultimately tragic consequences that can arise from that conflict. Furthermore, The Charter House of Parma is a novel that explores the nature of power and the way it is exercised by those in authority. The novel's characters are driven by a desire for power and influence, whether it be the ruling government, the aristocracy, or the bandits in the mountains. Stendhal's depiction of power is complex and nuanced, and he portrays both the benefits and the dangers that come with it. The novel's setting also plays an important role in the story, with Stendhal masterfully evoking the atmosphere of Italy during the Napoleonic era. From the lush countryside of Fabrizio's childhood to the gritty streets of Milan and the rugged mountains of the bandits, each setting is vividly drawn and imbued with its own unique character. One of the most fascinating aspects of The Charter House of Parma is its portrayal of love and desire. Stendhal's characters are driven by their passions, whether it be Fabrizio's love for his aunt Gina, or Gina's own conflicting desires for power and affection. Stendhal explores the many forms that love can take, from the passionate and all-consuming to the more subtle and nuanced. Despite its many strengths, The Charter House of Parma is not without its flaws. The novel can at times be difficult to follow, with its complex plot and large cast of characters. Stendhal's prose, while beautiful, can also be dense and challenging, requiring careful attention from the reader. Overall, The Charter House of Parma is a masterpiece of 19th-century literature, a complex and nuanced exploration of power, love, and freedom. Stendhal's characters are deeply flawed and complex, and his prose is both beautiful and challenging. The novel is a must-read for anyone interested in the history of Italy, the Napoleonic era, or the nature of power and desire.